what do you think of the results of the research of the deuterium deflation, just in general? Mm -hmm. I think it's very promising. Uh, if you consider all this research that has been shown here, using different models, cell lines, and in my case I'm using C. elegans, and I think it's very promising. It shows like that acts in different mechanisms, and I think it's really promising. Okay. okay. So, uh, have you ever worked with any other materials or, or substances which uh, have the same or similar results? Yeah, so I've been working with some uh, organoselenium and organotoluene compounds in the past, and they have this antioxidant activities, and if you compare with the activity that you see with the DW, it's very similar. So, I think that the DW is very useful in that case as antioxidant and in my case, my studies in anti-aging fat. So it was very similar with these antioxidants that are like standard antioxidants and the DW showed this similar effects. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, you were talking about the anti-aging uh, anti effect. Uh, do you think that, um, um, okay, could you tell me how relevant that um, the results of the anti-aging effects of DWR that you achieved in this C. elegans uh, model for human so, uh, C. elegans has 60 to 80 percent of homology. The, gen the genome is, it has 60 to 80 percent of homology with the mammalian systems, especially with humans in this case. And the studies with aging and anti-aging effects, observing C. elegans, they can they can be a prediction or on what's going to happen in humans. So, the relevance of these studies in C. elegans will be that this prediction to humans and we found that there is one important pathway that exists in uh, humans and this may be explored later for people that work with um, cell um, with this tumor cell lines they can observe if the found the finding that we found in C. elegans if it occurs in also in tumoral cell lines and that can be explored in humans later like these effects of DDW in this specific molecular pathways all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, in your opinion, what are the opportunities of using DW in the future, also in general? I think so, because as I said, it's very promising. We observed very positive results in different um, models, like in vitro and in the C. elegans case is in vivo, because you can see in vivo effects of the DW. So, I think it's very promising. Some uh, people here also doing trials in humans and they have been shown how useful it is. So I think we just need to keep going with these studies, yeah. Okay, what is your impression uh, of this symposium here, the conference? It's, it's very positive to see all these people getting together and trying to, um, trying to find the mechanisms of what's going on, everybody's interested in, and I think that's how it's science. You, you try to um, put all your ideas together and show the results and expose your results and everybody can see what is happening and that's very important for the scientific community, I think. Mm -hmm. This is the first one ever. Do you think that it would be useful to, to have some meetings like of this? Of course, of course. I think that's very helpful for everybody to see what, what is happening, what's going on at the same time in different parts of the world. As you can see, like people from Russia, Iran, United States, and of course Hungary, and also in Japan, there are people working with. So it's very important. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> and have a nice time here. <laughs> thank you.